For this recording session, we will use the black box for drums, bass, and piano. The black box will also send MIDI sequence data to the Korg and TS-1. We'll show you how to connect a MIDI controller and map the external faders to a few blue box controls. Next, we'll use output 2 as an aux send to an external FX module. Start by creating a new project on the blue box. Push project, then touch new. Touch clear and use the on-screen keyboard to give your project a name. Save or hit enter when you're finished. Push mixer, then push B. Use the touch screen to select the number of tracks needed for this session. Choose single or double row then push Mixer to return to the Mixer screen. Push Track and then push B. Touch a track at the top of the screen. And then in the bottom grid, touch the input you want to map to that track. Individual inputs can only be mapped to one destination at a time. Push Track and then push B. Touch a track to select it. Touch the number in the middle of the screen to bring up the keyboard where you can enter a new name. Touch enter to save your changes. Connect the main output to other audio gear, headphones, or powered speakers. Push main and then push B. Use the knobs to scroll and adjust the various parameters for pre and post fader returns as well as the main compressor settings. The black box is set up to output drums on out one, bass on out two, and piano on out three. Into blue box inputs one, two, and three respectively. Once connected, press play on the black box and check that you see signal on tracks one, two, and three. Use the appropriate MIDI cable or adapters to connect the black box MIDI out to the NTS-1 MIDI in. Connect the audio output of the NTS-1 to input 4 on the blue box. Use gain to set an appropriate input level. For this example, the NTS-1 will be driven by a MIDI sequence on the black box. Connect the launch pad or other USB MIDI controller to the device port on the rear panel of the blue box. You can also use the TRS MIDI jacks on the front of the blue box. Push edit and then touch learn in the upper right corner. This enters the blue box into MIDI learn mode. Navigate back to the mixer. Touch track one on the blue box, move fader one on the controller. Push mixer, touch pan, then touch track one. Turn the knob on the external controller. Touch the FX1 tab at the bottom of the screen. Then touch track one, turn the knob on your external controller. Touch FX2 tab, touch track 1, and turn the knob on the external controller. Push the EQ button, then touch the main track to select it. Touch gain, and turn the knob on the controller. Touch Q, turn the knob on the controller. Touch frequency, and again, turn the knob on the controller. Remember, if you make a mistake, touch and hold the control on screen, then lift your finger. The current mapping will be removed. To use an external FX processor, connect output 2 from the blue box to the input of the FX module or stomp box. Connect the output of the FX module to an available input on the blue box. Adjust the out to send for the track you want to use with the FX module. Control the dry amount with the source track Control the wet or return amount with the new track. When you are ready to record your performance, push Mixer and navigate to the Record tab at the bottom right of the screen. Touch the tracks you want to record 
including the main track, then push record and play. When your recording is finished, press stop. Remove the micro SD card and insert into a computer. Copy the files for your project directly into your DAW. 